Well, once again, we're at Tutbury Castle, and this afternoon there is the Tutbury Musical Event, July 2013, where many bands and performers come and play here with their families and audience. I'm with Bill Crosley. You're one of the organisers, Bill, aren't you? Yes, I am. Yeah. I'm chairman of the Tutbury Arts Group. Right. Now, tell me how this event um, started. Well, it was an idea that came out of playing with Tutbury Band, and one or two of us talked about why don't we just have bands playing rather than amplified music. So, how many people in the group? Only five of us. There's five Nobody of you. Else, five or six, but there are a lot of people involved on the day. I mean, you can see 40 or 50 people were here this morning putting tents up. I can see that as well. But also, uh, you've just been playing the uh, yeah, trombone. Playing. Yes. No, the tuba. I'm sorry, in the I should know my instrument, shouldn't I? <laughs> yes, the tuba, the silver one. Yeah, big one, yeah. Yeah, that was the one, yes, indeed. So that's your part of your group? Yeah, I'm in the Tutbury Junior Band as well as the Senior Band. And you'll see me if you stay until the Utoxeter Band play this evening. Oh, right. I'll play with a brass band, the okay. Yeah. This is quite an event. Have you been doing it for many years? Yeah, as I say, it's been. this is about the sixth time, I think. I'm we talking about here, here at Tutbury? Yes, we were rained off last year. Mm -hmm. Everybody yeah. was rained off last year. Yeah. Yeah. And it cost us a lot of money. About £1,500 in fees we couldn't get back. Right, these fees are from what well, do you have to pay? Printing fees, oh. advertising, all yeah. the things you have to do yeah. in advance that yeah. you've got no way unless people come through the door and give you money. You can't. Yeah. And the grants we got, we had to give back because we didn't run the yep. event. Oh, that is terrible, isn't it? Yeah, so it's come out of your own pockets then, really? Yeah, we lost about £1,500 and we're hoping to make it back this year. OK, right. So where do you get your fees from now? Is it the public coming in? Well, we yeah, the public pay five. So it's quite cheap, really, £5, isn't it? And £2 yeah, for a pensioner. Yeah, not a uh, lot. That's you and me, then. <laughs> me? Yeah, that's, that's you and me. I came in for nothing. Oh, okay. uh, the County Council gave us a good grant mm. and so did... Uh, Trent, uh, Trent and Dove, right. and so did Tupper Parish Council. Okay. So we started with around about fifteen hundred pounds yep. in the bank, assuming yep. it goes ahead, which it has done. Yes. Yeah. So we we knew that we were okay. Right. So you, you'll have some money this year. So tell me, um, you've got five or six in the group, but you also play with the the junior band. Do you practice together a lot? No, we're, the junior band practices on Wednesdays. And there's normally about 40 there. Right. And where is that? Where do you at practice? At school at Tutbury, at Richard Wayfield School. OK, right. And the senior band practices in the village hall at Tutbury. There's usually about 60 or sometimes 70 people there. Mm. And that's what, every week as well? Every Saturday morning. Oh, lovely. And I go to Utoxter on Tuesday nights. Yeah. And that's uh, at the JCB Club for right. the brass band at Utoxter. Oh, that's really good. So you yeah. obviously you all enjoy it. I think with all amateur bands and groups, everybody does seem to enjoy it. Otherwise, you wouldn't do it. No, it's great fun, and you learn a terrific amount. And you, you always make mistakes, thinking, "Oh God, I won't get, I, I'll get that right." You don't, you know. And then another time you play a thing perfectly, yeah. you think, yeah. "Might have done it." And it's a great sense of satisfaction.
we're here today on one of our lovely festivals uh, which this time of course is celebrating the local village and uh, what the is music it? festival that's right it's the music festival here and the villagers come some are coming to make music as choirs with their voices some with ukuleles we had a load of ukuleles earlier and there wasn't a mention of cleaning windows and um, and now we've got brass and children and all the money from today goes back into the village so we donate the money uh, yes. from the ticket today and a ticket today and we're very pleased to do that because it means they build benches and tidy up places of public interest and yeah it's been fun yeah well, that's good because they, they were saying this year it's been a success but last year it was a washout and they actually lost money. Um, well actually last year they thought it was going to be a washout. There was quite a big build up. Um, bless your heart darling. Uh, there have been quite a big build up. I don't do that when my head falls off. Um, been <laughs> when sorry, it's I was chopped, laughing at my own joke. When it's chopped you mean. When it's chopped. <laughs> that's what I've got this for. Stop it dropping off. Um, so last year it was threatened. There had been terrible rain and, uh, and all the papers were saying washout weekend coming up and it wasn't. It was as dry as a bone, actually, that weekend. Uh, I think there was a bit of rain late on in the evening, but the whole weekend when we would have been open was actually dry. Yeah. But people were expecting it to be, yeah. and I'm afraid they didn't do so well on that. So yeah. that's upsetting, but we're very pleased today. But this year, superb. Superb, yeah. fantastic. Yeah, Weather gorgeous, people sitting with straw hats on and yeah. eating strawberries and drinking beer. And Of course, we're near Burton, so they would be drinking beer, wouldn't they? They would be, yes, yes. Now, tell me, Mary, you must be, may I call you Mary? You do. You must be very hot in this. I'm used to it, to you be are. honest. I've been wearing yeah. it for so many years, it's yes. very heavy. But of course, my skin's completely protecting against the rays of the sun and my face is as well. Mm. So it's, it's not it. too bad. Uh, when I actually yes. get it off, I then remember how good it feels. Mm. Part of the job is, yes. is wearing this in all weathers. And whilst it has its benefits in the winter when it's a bit blowy up yes. here, yes. in the yes. summer, you certainly know about wearing a two-stone mm. costume. Mm. But I'm glad I'm not wearing my new Elizabeth I costume, which has just been delivered last week. That's four stone six. So that's like wearing a nine-year-old, which in this heat is something I can live without. Yes. But it, it looks right like this. And the embroidery on this has been done by yes. a Spanish nun. So the workmanship on the gown is, is absolutely that? breathtaking. Up on um, that. There's the Alpha and the Omega, yes. and this is done in pure gold thread, um, and this is all done by hand, not by a machine. Mm. So this lady who made altar cloths in Spain, I commissioned these pieces and they were sewn onto the gown itself. So mm. it's been bliss to wear, and so when I appear before people, even at a music festival, which seems a bit mad with brass bands banging away and people having a hot dog, nevertheless <laughs> there's the endless reminder yes. that this castle's history, you know, which it is, is lovely, since yes. such a long yes. time. Yes, we've actually just been down in the dungeons there but they didn't lock me up. No, I'm quite surprised, really. I'd heard they were going to if they got you in there. <laughs> anyway, may I call you Leslie now? Do. Yes, yes, because may, people may not recognise you. Thank you very much indeed for that. Been a joy as ever. Thank and you. Can I wish you a happy summer, everybody who's watching this, and I hope the autumn remains as warm. Maybe if you watch this on repeat, the rain might be coming, but at the moment, the sun's definitely blazing out, so it's a joyful year for 2013. Thank you.
Well, it's been a lovely day. The weather's been gorgeous once again here at Tutbury Castle, and the players have been superb. There's been nearly a dozen performers, a dozen bands and groups performing today, and I think they, as well as their families, have thoroughly enjoyed it. And this is Leon Lester for Burton TV News.